Welcome to this video tutorial for Mercury M5 bridge microcontroller integration into Genetex Security Center. This video explains how to wire and configure F2F readers, the MR junction box and YU boards. M5 basic configuration, device specifications and enrollment in Security Center are covered in a different video tutorial. The link can be found in the description below. This video tutorial covers specific F2F reader models from GE Security. Other brands and models might be different, so please consult the technical data manuals for the model you're working with. The models covered are 500 series and the 900 series. If the reader comes with a pigtail, in most cases the color of the wires will always represent the same pinout. For F2F communication, the most commonly used wires are the red wire for power, black for ground, white for data 1, orange or brown for green LED, yellow or gray for uh, door digital input, and pink or gray for Rex digital input. Readers like the 900 models do not have pigtails, but instead come with terminal blocks. This is a diagram that shows what each terminal block represents. Some reader terminal ports might be in a different order, so please refer to the technical documents for your specific reader model. The M52K has four reader ports where pin 1 is used for power, pin 2 is the ground, Pin 3 is data 1 and pin 4 is the LED. I will now go over on how to wire supervised F2F readers to an M52K board and then configure a door in Security Center using the physical inputs and outputs found on this board. In this scenario, I'm wiring a supervised F2F reader to the TB4 reader port 2 on the M52K. The wiring is performed as shown. When the M52K is added in Security Center, we see more inputs and outputs compared to the ones found on the board. The first 8 inputs and 4 outputs in Security Center are F2F. The rest are the actual physical inputs and outputs found on the M52K board. This image explains what the inputs and outputs in Security Center correspond to on the M52K board. In order to create a door, you first need to open config tool, then open the area view task. Click add an entity and select door. Name the door. Next. Then select the Synergis appliance. and the M52K under the controlling M5IC. Click the Hardware tab. In here, we need to add the reader or readers and other IOs like the request to exit, door lock and door contact. Make sure to hit apply when done. Don't forget to add access rules to the door. If we check the access control task under Synergis Appliance for a full tab, We should now see which IOs and readers are controlling the new door. From here, you can also change your reader settings. 
the valid options are standard F2F, supervised F2F, supervised F2F with inputs, and custom. The Micro Reader Junction Box, or also known as the MRJ. The Micro Reader Junction Box is designed to facilitate the wiring between M5 boards and the door reader, lock, contact, and racks. This is a diagram of the MRJ. Each set of pins is separated in different blocks labeled J1 through J5. Feel free to pause the video to read what each pin position represents. Next, I will go over the wiring diagrams with the various M5 panels. The only thing that will change from one diagram to another is the J2 connection. I will go in detail over each connection just for the first diagram. The first diagram is for wiring the MRJ to an M5 2K board. The wiring is performed as shown. Please keep in mind that depending on the reader model, the wire color can vary. J3 is used for the door contact and racks. Pins 1 and 2 are the door contact and pins 3 and 4 are the racks. The J4 pins are for the strike power supply. J5 is the strike output which can be either normally open or normally closed. J2 is the connection to the M5 2K board. The first pin is the positive 12 volts or 5 volts power supplied from the M5 board. This pin is also internally connected to the number 1 pin in J1 on the MRJ, which provides power to the reader. This diagram displays an alternate method of powering the door strike, where the power supply is external. In this case, you will need the J5 pin number 1 jumped with the J5 pin number 2 for normally open. If you want normally closed, you need to jump the J5 pin number 1 with the J5 pin number 3. The J5 pin number 1 is internally connected to the J4 pin number 2. Next, I will go over the wiring to an M5 8RP. I will only go over the specific wiring to the M5 board. The rest of the wiring is identical to the already covered M5 2K diagram. The wiring is performed as shown. Lastly, I will go over the wiring to the M5 2RP or M5 2SRP. I will only go over the specific wiring to the M5 board. The rest of the wiring is identical to the already covered M5 2K diagram. The wiring is performed as shown. On the M5 2RP, the pin number 3 and pin number 7 must be shorted together. Also, a pull-up resistor rated at 470 ohms and half a watt will be required between reader data 1 pin number 7 and the positive 12 volts pin number 1. Next, I will go over on how to create a door in Security Center using the M5 8RP and the MRJ with a supervised F2F reader. Before we begin, it's important to understand that we are using inputs and outputs directly from the MRJ through the F2F single data wire. The actual M5 8RP does not have any inputs or outputs on it. When using inputs on the F2F reader or inputs from the interface reader ports, the odd numbered inputs shown in config tool are used for racks and the even numbered inputs are used for door contacts. Also, each output corresponds to its own reader. In order to create a door, you first need to open config tool, then open the area view task, click add an entity and select door. Name the door. Next. Then select the Synergist appliance and the M5 8RP under the controlling M5 IC.
click the hardware tab. In here, we need to add the reader or readers and other IOs like the request to exit, door lock and door contact. Make sure to hit apply when done. Don't forget to add access rules to the door. If we check the access control task under the Synergist Appliance Peripherals tab, We should now see which IOs and readers are controlling the new door. From here, you also need to change your reader settings to supervised F2F with inputs. The Wigand Interface Unit 2 State, otherwise known as the YU2. It's a board that is installed between an M5 controller, such as the M5-2K or M5-8RP, and an access control reader. When cardholders present their credential to the reader, the YU2 converts the Wigan badge identification data into F2F protocol and sends it to the controller. This is a diagram of the YU2. Each set of pins is separated in different blocks labeled J1 through J6. Feel free to pause the video to read what each pin position represents. The diagram also explains what each jumper does. The J3 jumper, for example, is used for two-state reporting and the J6 jumper is for the reader supervision. Next, I will go over the wiring to an M5 2K board. The wiring is performed as shown. The Y2J2 is the connector to the M5 board. The wiring is performed as shown. Next, I will go over the wiring to an M5 8RP board. The wiring is performed as shown. The Wigand Interface Unit 4 State, otherwise known as the YU4. This board serves the same purpose as the YU2, except it has more functionalities, which include a strike relay that can output more current, it supports longer card formats, and keypad readers. This is a diagram of the YU4. Each set of pins is separated in different blocks labeled J3 to J6. Feel free to pause the video to read what each pin position represents. The diagram also explains what each jumper does. The J4 jumper is required if you plan on using 4-state supervision for the Rex and door contact inputs. J10 depicts how to wire the strike relay. Next, I will go over the wiring to an M5 2K board. The wiring is performed as shown. If your reader requires 5 volts, you can use pin number 10 instead of pin number 1. Do not use both at the same time. Next, I will go over the wiring to an M5 8RP board. The wiring is performed as shown. Creating and configuring a door in Security Center is identical to the same demonstration done for the MRJ. Feel free to rewatch that portion of the video for more info. Thank you for watching.